Okay, uh, let's see for this Take Inter Advanced tutorial uh, how to create a a window with uh, a list box on the left and a text box on the right. So um, let's go and see how to do it. Uh, let's save this file here. And so we get this example that I made previously. And so I want to guide you through how I made this, making it uh, from from scratch. So we want to import to Kinter the module to uh, use uh, to make graphic user interface in Python. It's a built-in module. You don't have to install anything except Python. And we are going to define a class. So in this class, as you may know you mm, you start with a init uh, method that will uh, be launched when you create an instance of this class so self root will be created immediately so after the instance and so we call this uh, self root uh, tk dot tk to create a window and then um, let's uh, see if this works to see a window and we're gonna create an instance like this give a name and call the, the class nothing in it and then maybe you have to win dot root main loop to um, make the window uh, let's say run the while loop for the for the window to stay here and be active. So there it is. Uh, simple as this. So now we are going to put some widgets into the window. Um, let's also give a name to it and title. Um, let's call it window. There it is now. It's window. Let's make it a little more simple than this, where we have title and version. We don't actually need it. And then we're going to self uh, set up window. And we have this method inside window. You got to put self inside uh, as an argument in the parentheses. And this will contain all the widgets. And then we're going to define inside of this one because we can with Python. We're going to define another um, function inside this method, and this will uh, contains the list box on the left. So this will contains. The list box on the left. This was made to. I'm making um, a guide to create a ebook, so that is why you see this one here. But here we want to make something more general for any kind of thing you may use a list box in the text box in a window. So um, after this, we're gonna define the, the frame and let me put an underscore here to distinguish from the from the function so we're going to attach this to the root the this window widget so this is a class that makes me create a frame into the window and we're going to well, let's not put any color for the moment and so let's frame we could use uh, pack to make it visible or grid to position it in a sort of grid column 0 row equals 0 so at the first uh, the first place in this in this grid we want to place the frame and we also want to make it sticky because we want 
uh, to fill all the space in its um, where it is located that we're going to show you what this means and it's stick it to north, south, west and east adapt to window okay um, now we created this this function and now when I also create like down here widget order let me change the name to widget design um, the widgets on the screen on the window so here I'm gonna put call the frame first and when I put this okay no please. then in the frame I'm gonna put In the frame, I'm gonna put a list box. So def, I'm gonna make this. I could not make all these uh, functions and methods, but I make to make them to make more easy to understand where the things are. In case I wanna change something, let's call this frame one. Because I'm gonna make two frames, so this would go in the frame one. Also, the uh, the description here are useful. Not at the moment, but if you wanna come back here in later, well, let me call this one LBX. Okay, let me also cause this FRM. Okay, I'm gonna call this one with just the consonant. So, for my choice, and so TK frame self. Um, list box self FRM FRM one. Okay, and and the list box is okay. And let me put a background of gold and then. Self LBX. Let me put this here so that you can see with the previous code I made and compare it. So I'm gonna put the grid here. I'm gonna also put it at column zero and row equals zero. This is inside uh, the frame, so let's leave it like this for the moment and so now we are gonna show the frame and then we are gonna show we're gonna activate this function here call this function. So when we call this this will go into this class, execute immediately this code here, create a window, name it and go to set dev window and then in this cell window we have to call the widget design and so this will this will call this this will call the frame and create the frame this will call the list box and create the list box so it's quite clear let's see if there is some error of course because I have 
frame is not defined because probably I've changed the name to frame one. Okay, so this is our list box. So you see, um, that's just this one. We need a text now to make it. We're gonna make another frame. We just we're gonna copy and paste this one and put it down after the list box. So in the same order. So frame two and frame two. We're gonna put in the column one and row zero. And the other thing is the same. Then I'm gonna also copy this and change it to a text. Text box. I'm gonna call this txt, txt, txt grid tkfrm2. Okay, FRM2, uh, the color, not color, and not the list box, but the text box that is called text in here. And then, uh, so I'm gonna call frame 2 and text, text box. Okay, so we got here our stuff in here, and I want to stretch this one to the full window. And but I don't think that if I gone if I copy this, it will work. For some reason, I'm gonna. So you see, it doesn't work this way. But we'll check later how to do it. So for the moment. That is how to create a list box in here and a text box. And my intention is to get some um, file names in here, maybe, and to show the content of these files into uh, into here or anything else. So see, this is let's say a general purpose uh, window with a list box and uh, a text box just to uh, see how to use the Ginter also and but also to make it ready and usable for whatever whatever app you wanna make. Thank you and see you next time.